you guys welcome back to the channel i hope that you guys are all doing wonderful so today we are at another dollar tree this is not the same one that i always go to i have visited this store many of times but just never recorded it it's a pretty nice store it's not my favorite but it it is a pretty nice store um i posted a video um my last dollar tree haul it was pretty short that one that Dollar Tree is a hot mess. I didn't even record a beginning part to it because I wasn't sure if I was going to find anything in that store, but I don't think I'm going to visit that store very often just because it literally, you guys, is a disaster. <laughs> so if you guys have a Dollar Tree in your area and it is super just a mess, nothing's in order, go to different Dollar Trees in your area. Look up different places that you guys can visit and hopefully you can find one that's better that is in the same area. You can also look up like the, you know, the largest Dollar Tree in your area. Look at the ratings. Um, but yeah, you may have to travel a little bit, but sometimes it's worth it and it gets you out of the house doing something. So anyway, so with all that being said, you guys, let's go ahead and go in. I hope that we find some fun finds and things that we haven't seen yet. I just want to start off by saying look at all the colors spring is in the air here are just a huge assortment of plastic eggs for easter they have so many different choices to choose from so you can't go wrong with any of these i just wanted to share the more decorative ones that aren't just the originals we have this really cute block one i thought that was really cool these clear ones they're kind of an iridescent which is really beautiful and they are a larger egg over here, I just wanted to share some of the new signs that I haven't shared on the channel yet that I have not yet seen. A lot of them were duplicates, but here are a couple that I have not shown yet. I thought he was really cute with the little baby bunnies in the basket and the one with the flowers. I love the bunny that says spring is here and he's coming out of a hat. So I really love these ones that say hop and have the burlap bunnies, but am I the only one that notices the cotton tail on the back, but also the front of the ears? So it's a little confusing. I get why they did it, but it's like the front of the ears, but the back of the butt. I don't know, but it's still really cute. Here are some of their gnomes. They are garland, but you can definitely craft with them. The first set I just shared just had like glitter hats. This one had designed hats, and the ones down here are more of a gingham print. I think that that's pretty cool that they gave us so many different options of that particular one. Now these steaks stole my heart. Look at this cute little chick. I think the flower in the little ear is just doing it like in the hair. It's super cute. You can definitely use these outside along your pathways. You can break that steak off and use them just as decorations in the house. Super cute. Love those. They even had this one that just says Happy Easter. You can add something to it if you would like just to kind of make it pop more. Now with these plastic planner pots, I know I've seen something similar, but I couldn't remember if they were the exact ones, but I thought that those looked really nice. These are my favorite right here. They remind me of the big wine barrels from back in the like 80s. They've probably been around since before then, but that's what it reminds me of my childhood. They had these really cute just I think that they've had these these have been around for a while as well but these are really nice I like that they're just like a matte solid color I wanted to take you and show you more Easter things they had so many nice things they had these pretty pom-pom garlands I love that they're doing these little beaded strands you can decorate with these you could put them on shelves you could hang them off something you could even put them in your car around the mirror around the holidays I think that that would be kind of cute to make your car festive um, you can even put it on like a tear tray or if you have one of those cute pop-out garden windows at the house you can kind of put those on there they have these really cute plush animals I love how they are holding the little sports balls. Those are really cute for your sports loving kids to put in their Easter baskets. Here are some really pretty ribbon. Um, these are the wider ribbons and I believe that they are the wired ribbons. So I thought that I'd share those. Now these are styrofoam craft bunnies. So I'm not sure what you would do with those. Let me know what you guys have done in the past with those or what you could do with those. 
probably do some sort of scene or something, but how would you decorate it? Paint it? These felt stickers are really cute. You can craft with these. You could give them to the kids to have them decorate something. You could even put them on canvas and paint around them. That would be kind of interesting. They also had these little carrots that I thought were really cute. I don't think I've shared these styrofoam craft eggs with you. Maybe you could do a scene with the eggs and the bunnies. They did have several different sizes as you can see here. I love that the Dollar Tree gives you the option to buy your own bag of wooden beads to create something like the garland string that you saw earlier with the little carrot or the chick on it. So you could create your own or you can make a longer one. Now these peeps I thought were interesting. I do not remember seeing all the different flavors in the past. I can be mistaken though because I don't buy peeps. Let me know who loves peeps and who doesn't because I do not. <laughs> I'm not a fan, but I do think it's super cool that they had all the different flavors shown here. And I love that cotton candy one looked like a circus theme in the background. I wanted to share these little ceramic mushrooms with you for your planter boxes or your garden because they kind of go along with those frogs that I shared. Those were actually in a different walkthrough, but I thought that these were kind of cool. Here are some of their thank you cards. These are definitely perfect to get after a party of some kind or just to scrapbook, journal, send friend mail, just anything. If you like to write handwritten notes or letters, those are perfect. Just some words of advice you guys don't ever go to the Dollar Tree and skip over their gift wrapping or their cards because their selection is huge and it's at a fraction of a price from a different store. Here I wanted to share these filler papers with you guys. They are foiled filler paper. They're so pretty. I wonder if you can actually wrap with these. I wonder if because they are like that foily, I think plastic type of wrap, I wonder if it would work to wrap gifts. This one is really cool. I thought that the colors were just so pretty together and that rainbow kind of gives me unicorn vibes. Now these decorative boxes have been around forever and I know you can give gifts in them and I think they're pretty cool for gifts because it does look a little bit different than your average box or your gift bag. But I love that they have all different types of themes here. These can be used for Mother's Day for just gift giving. They could be for birthdays. They also had specific ones to birthdays as well. I would definitely take these home and put all of my like crafting stuff in them as well. You could keep little keepsakes in there. Your kids could put their little jewelry pieces in there if they have, you know, if they're young kids, they could throw like their plastic jewelry pieces in there. Now these were my favorite. Look at the confetti that just falls inside of that top there or the lid I should say. They had three different designs that I noticed and there were two different sizes but I just thought that they were so cute. Oh wait maybe there's four designs because I think that that is a different design. They're like little shaker cards but they're actually the lid to the box. And I'm noticing that there are, I think, four sizes, maybe three, not sure. Might be different in other stores. Now these are so pretty. I think that their floral has really came up. Now I do believe that the little bundles are smaller than you would typically get at a different store. So I don't know if you'd be saving money here, but 125 for a pick is pretty good, I would say, if you're not doing a huge arrangement. But look how pretty these are. They look kind of like frosted. I love them. These plastic flowers are really pretty too. Let me know what you guys do with those. Do you guys do your own flower arrangements? That would be kind of fun to try to do. So I wanted to share more of their holiday, birthday decorations. They had quite a bit here and things that I don't typically see at my other stores. So I thought that these little headbands were really cute. You can pop off the little decorative pieces and use them for crafting as well. Even after the party, if you want to keep it, say your kid had a birthday and wore it and you wanted to save it as a souvenir and put it in a junk journal, maybe you can definitely pluck them off and stick them in there. I thought those were kind of cool. Those are picks. 
Look how cute. They kind of look like fireworks to me. I don't know why. That's so random, but it does. Looks like it could be fireworks. I thought that this little sign was pretty cool. It's a banner that you can hang up for a birthday. I'm not sure if they have different colors anywhere else. Our store just had purple. They have some of the colored paper bags. Those are great for crafting or gift giving. I thought that these ones are really cute. They're treat bags. They had three or four different designs on them. I thought that those, the hollow stars are really cute. Those are probably my favorite. I was super surprised when I saw these. I've never seen them. They are called jointed cutouts. And I guess they're all attached, but the pieces move, like the neck moves, the legs move, but they're huge. Look how big that is. And if your kids love dinosaurs and you're doing a dinosaur themed party, I would definitely pick these up because look at how cool. Now I have seen the dragonfly that I just shared with this wooden decor, but the butterfly and the star was so pretty. Definitely something good to craft with. Now I don't really share too much down this aisle, I don't think, because a lot of the stuff we have seen in the other walkthroughs and the stuff has been around for a while. Now I have seen this, oh, hold on you guys, I gotta pick this up gotta help out <laughs> but here are some larger glitter glues and let me know if you've used those now this I was surprised to see they had so many different varieties of the type of wood they had the light wood the white they had these glass beads that I've seen previously they're called tube confetti I did see a more of a variety here at this store with all of the different colors um, which was kind of cool but here are some little jump rings if you guys do crafting with earrings or jewelry they have the clasps as well now here are more of the wooden beads and these i believe are the black wooden beads and then these are oak look how pretty those are they also had um i think that those are black as well but they also had these like glossy finish to the darker wood and then they had the oblong ones now i thought that these galvanized little decorative stands were pretty cool. I have never seen these. Let me know what you guys would do with these, but I thought that they were pretty cool. Um, they had so many different kinds and designs. The flower one I think is probably my favorite. They also had these galvanized letters. Had to share some stickers with you. I know that they've had these previously, but look how nice they are. They have the leaves. Those are more like autumn leaves. These are so pretty, I love these. They are the crosses with the gems. They had different styles here. These keys are another one of my favorites here. They look vintage, I like them. And then these I've never seen. I thought that these were really pretty. And these are new to me too. How is your guys' sticker selection at your stores? Are they pretty big? Do you guys see a lot of new things often? I feel like ours are always like switching them out, rotating through them. These are perfect for crafting, paper crafting. I can literally be in this aisle forever, literally. <laughs> I'm trying to share all the things with you guys, all the different colors. Now walking over to the fabric, I wanted to share the different fabric that they had here because this isn't the typical fabric that I have been seeing at my Dollar Tree that I go to all the time. But I just thought that these were really cool. They had so many different kinds. 
I thought that that was pretty. The colors reminded me of my grandmother. These are perfect to buy if you don't have huge projects to do, if you only need a little bit of fabric or you just need pieces of fabric. Now you guys, this one reminds me completely of a shirt that my grandmother had and I put it down and I'm continuing to look and I really am looking but I cannot keep my mind off of that roll of fabric that reminded me of my grandmother. Let me know if any of you guys are like that, that you guys see something or listen to something or smell something that reminds you of somebody that has passed. But I just thought that they had so many choices. Like look how cool these plaid ones are. And the black polka dot I think is super cute. See, I went back to it. I'm like, hmm, I couldn't part with it you guys. I couldn't. Okay, so moving on along. Here are some little wood slats. I know that they've had those for a while. Are they called wood slats? I don't know, pieces of wood. <laughs> Here's some little wood crafts, everything that we've seen previously. Now here is the tiny little book selection that we had in this store. Um, they don't have too much in the stores like I've mentioned in my other hauls, but I did like what I was seeing here. So I'm just gonna flip through a couple of these items. This is on love. I thought that these were really cute. They're little quotes by people. Oh my goodness, you guys, who else remembers The Dark Crystal from back in the day? I guess that's a new Netflix show or movie out right now, but who remembers that? It's super creepy. <laughs> All right, this is so cute. My love for you. It's a little journal that you could do with your spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend. Just looking up here at different books. Now, I would not be reading these books. I would just get them for the spines to use the cover. I always say spine, but I mean I mean the cover, you guys, for my junk journaling and the pages inside I would definitely use as well. You can age them. You could use them for like the backings of your pages. Now these were really cool. I don't think I've ever seen these in the store, but they are book covers. Who remembers doing paper bag book covers in school? And then we got to decorate them. You guys, those were the days but these are stretchable book covers. If you guys have kids, you can get those for their books. Now here's another set of the galvanized letters, but this was the A through M, so I wanted to share that they had that. I thought that this one was really pretty to do crafting with. I have to share my crosses with you guys. Now these are new to the store. I have not seen these previously. I think they're super chic. I love the amber one. This one's really pretty too, but the amber one I think is my favorite. This one was pretty cool. It was two-toned, do you see that? These are also new to the store. I have never seen these. They're the matte black with the gold, super chic. I think they look way more expensive than $1.25, so that could definitely decorate the house and look really nice. Now, I think that they could have done better with this. Instead of wish, it should have been like blessed or faith or something having to do with the cross. Um, also, this one's really pretty, except the glue was really messy and it wasn't centered but I thought that these were pretty. This also reminds me of back in the day, who else had one of these filled with photos? I did. <laughs> All right, so just walking through, sharing some of the frames with you guys. They did have a pretty large selection of frames that I have not seen yet at my other Dollar Trees. So I thought that these looked pretty chic. I thought that they were really pretty. To have like a collection maybe on your wall with a gold trim you could mismatch the black and gold and blue and gold on the wall in a collage so many different sizes and varieties so i wanted to share with you if you are in the market for photo frames i really love these because they have the black frame on the inside where the floating photo is i thought that that was kind of cool If you are in the market for a set of plain votive candle holders, it comes with a set of four, you guys, $1.25. I thought that these were really pretty as well. They had different colors and they kind of had different designs. So see, these are hollow and then they had this 
white one and they had a beige look at that i like that color it's more like a taupe color i also really liked these they kind of had like a matte finish look and these look very stylish look how pretty this aisle is it looks pretty clean for a dollar tree right i actually think that i've shared this love sign before i can't remember but it looks familiar now these if you guys have a country style home that would look so pretty now I know that they've been having these floating shelves for a while. They had them in white and black and um, I have never seen them until today, but I used to see them in other people's hauls, but I was surprised to see them there. I thought that this was really pretty. Be kind, be brave, and be awesome. I love those ribbons right here. Are they considered ribbon? I don't think so, but okay. So this is a set of different sized wreaths. Now, what do you do with that? Do you guys know? Do you do separate wreaths with them or is it supposed to make something particularly? I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comments because I'm super curious. Now these glittery ribbons completely caught my eye. Look how cool that one is. They had so many different varieties. That one is really pretty. I think that one's my favorite. That one has more like a green tone to it very pretty now this is the first time that i've seen this particular contact paper i debated on it i was going to get it for a cover for my love junk journal but i put it back now here are some stickers these are more in the educational aisle i thought that these were really cute they just gave me like an old school vibe look at these cute old school mickeys look at that bee so many different stickers and i loved every single one of them now, I'm just kind of giving you an overview of what their education aisle look like. Basically the same things that I've been seeing in the other stores. Here are their pens and their notebooks. Most of it is very similar. I didn't really see too much that was different except these caught my eye. I had not seen these yet. I thought that the covers were really cool. And at my store, I only saw three different variations of them. So they had the shark, the llama, and the dinosaur. Now over in the beauty section, I saw this really cool birthday cake skin smoothie. Let me know if you guys have tried it. They also had these collagen lip masks. And look, it's the Beauty Guru, but it's a hair serum. Let me know if you've heard anything about this. I know that they had the eyelash one and I got it and I used it for about a week and then I kind of stopped <laughs> for no reason at all. I just got lazy and stopped using it. Now I've seen these before, the hydrating lipsticks and these, that's just a clear one, but these are the different colors that I saw at my store. They do look pretty. So let me know if you guys have used these and they've actually hydrated your lips and not dried them out. These are really cool. I know that they've had these previously. I haven't seen it in my own store for a while, but they have different, I guess, scents to them. These really caught my eye. They were hair wraps, but they're velvet. How pretty are those to dress up? If you're wearing a dressy outfit, that could totally dress it up. Here are some of our just hygiene products. The razors caught my eye for some reason this particular day. I don't think I've ever seen this six pack of the razors. And they also had it in five. I don't know if those have been around, but these I think are new. For sure the assured kind they had it in the pink and then the cream with green so I, let me know if you guys have seen those in your stores but I think that they're new now this nail stamp is definitely new and I'm wondering how those work because I love doing my own nails so let me know if you guys have used these previously I have seen that particular nail stamp um, before in the different Dollar Trees but the blue one is new they look pretty cool. I'm gonna have to watch some videos on how to do that. All right, so make sure you guys keep your eyes open at your Dollar Trees because they have been getting Kiss products for fake nails. And Kiss is a major brand and those would be perfect for your teenagers or young girl um, for their Easter baskets. Now, I always look at this type of stuff to go into gifts for the girls in my family because they're perfect, you know, and teens and young girls, they love stuff like this. So always keep your eyes open, especially around the holidays. I always just save stuff and put stuff away throughout the months of the year. So I have them see here's the Kiss brand and they have a set. 
Now these I thought were really cool because they are already pre-packaged. Now these are um, infused with different things like coconut, lavender, um, what is that, green tea I think it said, and rose. But these would be perfect to throw in your luggage if you're going on a trip. They're already packed up in their little individual container. I wanted to share these gloves with you. They're perfect for cleaning. Over here, these magnesium or Epsom salts caught my eye. I had never seen these before at my Dollar Tree, so I wanted to share them. Now, magnesium, there are different types of Epsom salts and magnesium, so just make sure that you guys are using the ones that are right for you and doing what you need them to do because they have specific benefits and they are absorbed into your body different ways. So it's pretty interesting, but just look it up, it's kind of cool. So I wanted to just share all the different kinds that they had. Now this is new to my store, it's a seven day pill organizer and it looks like you press the button there on the top in the center and then the day like spins around to the opening on the side, which is kind of cool. They aren't that big, so I would say get them if you don't have a lot of pills per day or vitamins. I wanted to share the contact case with you because that is quite a bit of contact cases for $1.25. Now this bowl was so pretty. It definitely doesn't look like an average Dollar Tree bowl. Usually you'd find them in plastic, but that's actually glass, so I thought it was nice. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Stick around for the haul. It should be out sometime this week. You guys be safe, be blessed, and I will see you guys next time.